Good evening. Welcome to news. I'm Nimisha. Let's get to the top five headlines for today. Former External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj passes away at the age of 69. North Karnataka struggles with heavy rain and floods. Five districts hit. PV Sandhu, only Indian among Forbes list of highest paid sportswomen. Deepika Padukone says she won't work with Me Too accused. Over 100 arrested in Kashmir, one cop injured in stone pelting incident. Let's get to know them in detail. The senior BJP leader and former external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj passed away at All India Institute of Medical Sciences on Tuesday night after suffering a heart attack in the evening. She was 69. The senior BJP leader was brought to Ames at 10.15 p.m. and was straight away taken to the emergency ward. She had undergone treatment for kidney failure in 2016. Citing health reasons, the former minister did not contest uh, the Lok Sabha polls in 2019. She was the first woman, ex woman external affairs minister of India. Sushma Swaraj's final rights are to be are being held and senior BJP leaders Rajnath Singh, J.P. Nada, Ravi Shankar Prasad and Piyush Goel were among the poll bearers as the mortal remains of the BJP stalwart were being taken from BJP headquarters to Lodi crematorium in Delhi. Getting to the next news now, where North Karnataka is struggling to cope up with heavy rainfalls and floods as the monsoon picked up pace in the region over the last few days. Two men were recently washed away in flood waters after heavy rain caused the Krishna River to swell. According to the troubles, uh, trouble is release of water from a dam in neighboring Maharashtra. More than 200 personnel of the Karnataka State Fire and Emergency Services were on the job with boats in Belagavi, Bagalkot, Raichur and Yadgir districts. Raichur and Yadgir districts. The state disaster response force was also involved in efforts to help the flood affected. Highways in the north of the state, including NH4, were flooded and parts of it could not be used for traffic at all. Trains and bus services were also disrupted. The chief minister made an aerial survey of the region on Monday. Moving on to the next news, where Indian badminton star PV Sindhu is the only athlete from the country to be named among the world's highest paid female athletes by Forbes, a list of by tennis great uh, uh, player Serena Williams. With a total earnings of $5.5 million, Sindhu is, Sindhu is tied for the 13th place in the highest paid female athletes 2019 list released by Forbes today. Forbes today. Forbes said its earning tally looks at uh, prize money, salaries, bonuses, endorsements and appearances fees between June 2018 and 2019. There are 15 female athletes who made it at least uh, uh, 5 million US dollars during, uh, during that time period. For comparison, roughly 1300 male athletes will hit that mark this year. Forbes said Sindhu remains India's most marketable female athlete. She became the first woman, first Indian to win the season-ending BWF World Tour in uh, finals in 2018. Getting to the world of entertainment where after the reports of Deepika Padukone signing as the female lead in Love Ranjan's upcoming film came out, actresses fan trend hashtag not my Deepika on Twitter requesting her not to take up the film. Deepika's fans were against the actress working with the love uh, with love as he was accused of sexual harassment by a woman during the hashtag me too moment. Now in the recent interaction with the media portal she declared that she she wouldn't work with someone who has been accused of sexual harassment. Deepika will next uh, be seen in Chapak, uh, directed by Meghna Gulzar. Moving on to the next news, where over 100 people have been arrested in Kashmir after the centre announced abrogation of provisions of Article 370 of the Constitution. Security forces arrested over 100 people, including political leaders and activists, as they were considered a threat to peace and tranquility in the Kashmir Valley. 
The arrest came after hours after Article 370, which granted a special status to Jammu and Kashmir, was scrapped and the center bifurcation of the state into two union territories, which is Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Barring say, uh, stray incidents of stone pelting, the situation was comfortable in all the three regions of Jammu and Kashmir. A senior official of the Jammu and Kashmir administration said some shops had opened in Srinagar and the movement of people on the roads had picked up the spite uh, restrictions. The official added that the situation ha was comfortable now, stating that there were few, very few incident of incidents of stone pelting. These were the top five headlines for today. Stay connected with news for more updates. Like, share and subscribe our channel NY TV. Also download the news app from Google Play Store and share your news with us.